Welcome to the middle of Finland and we're at a wind turbine site. So we're going to be doing uh, an inspection, uh, capturing some data. I'm working with the maintenance company here. So, but please remember you should never fly at a wind turbine site unless you have permission from the turbine site owner because this is very dangerous. These things can flex a lot in the wind. Uh, it's currently moving at the moment, so um, we are going to have it stopped in a certain position so I can capture the data and deliver that data for them. So this should be interesting and I hope you enjoy what we capture here. Possible if it could be turned around 90 degrees. Do you want the, the sun behind you? Yeah. Okay, we can go 180. Sorry, yeah, 180. Yeah, yeah. 180. Okay, no problem. There is one thing I want to check first. Okay. <laughs> so we've just stopped the wind turbine and we're actually going to turn it 180 degrees because the sun would be in front of the drone. You know, capturing the footage, cap capturing the data would be quite difficult with the sun right in front of the drone. So we're actually going to turn the drone, as so I can turn the turbine 180 degrees, which would be a lot better. Uh, but we have to do this by eye, I heard, so it's going to be fun. So, so we're now just shifting the pitch so that the, there's the... Um, one of the blades is in line with the 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 um, main body of the turbine, so it's going to be like a Y shape. So we just need to wait for this to get into position. So this will take a couple of minutes. So we've shifted the turbine 180 degrees. It didn't take long. It took about five minutes, so quite efficient. But I didn't know they could do that. That was something new for me. So let's go and do the inspection.
Yeah. Yeah. I asked Aaron to explain the importance of flight permissions and why you shouldn't be flying your drone over and around a wind turbine site. Well, as you can see, you have uh, some very large blades that are spinning around. Uh, and with the moving winds, obviously the winds are much faster up at that altitude than they are down here. So drift and etc., things like that, could put your drone in line with these blades. They're very unforgiving and uh, will destroy your, your drone, number one. Uh, secondly, then they will actually cause damage uh, to the blades themselves, uh, to the fiber, which then has a knock-on effect that the owner has to then send in people to inspect and repair any sort of damage. Uh, as with all the wind turbines in, uh, in Finland, they're all part of the, uh, the traffic uh, ID for uh, air uh, safety and that uh, flight rules apply around uh, all turbines. now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me think of how terrible with this crap this is not not my comfort zone at all